right, so we're gonna make our first video for the Yujopreneur channel. We're still trying to figure out what the whole vibe is gonna be in this channel and, and how we're gonna navigate through it. So just bear with us. Uh, we're gonna make the first video. We're gonna talk about, we're gonna be doing things behind the scenes. You'll get some behind the scenes of uh, running a company, Guardian Safe and Lock. You'll get some behind the scenes of just all of us doing things together, projects, get togethers, hanging out, conversations sometimes. Um, You'll know, we'll probably have some things in my personal life sometimes. Uh, we'll also have discussions where we'll talk about different topics. So I'm gonna give you some information on interview do's and don'ts. Because I interview all the time. And usually every hire I do, it's probably I know there's at least a hundred and something candidates I usually go through, and then there's X amount that I bring in for that I weed out before the process, and then by the time they get down to calling and coming in and everything, there's probably about 30 people that literally every single time so it's a big process there's a lot of people out there you're competing against everybody so everything matters and uh, it depends who's interviewing you but we're, we have big expectations for this company we want to grow we want to we want to revolutionize the industry we want to develop a huge company and bring a new standard to the industry of locksmithing and security so with those aspirations we have to we have to pick and choose people very carefully who fit our uh, who fit our, um, what would you say, our uh, culture and fit the way we do things. So I'm going to give you some information on what I look for when I'm interviewing people and tell you things that you do need to do and things you don't need to do. And I'm going to have a conversation with Randall and we're just, we're just going to talk a little bit and uh, I'll fill you in on what uh, my opinion on those things are. All right, so this is our first episode of Youjipreneur. We're going to discuss the do's and don'ts of uh, interviewing. So what to do and what not to do uh, when you're interviewing. So I'm gonna get this screen turned off. Let's start with the uh, with the do's. Well, first of all, at, some, at one point or another, I was interviewing Randall. So we were in this situation at one point or another. Um, and of course, I ended up hiring Randall. So he knows what I do in the interviews. So I even bring in some of my guys sometimes. I'll be like, hey, I'm getting ready to make a hiring decision. Why don't you come sit in this interview and tell me what you think? Well, I'll tell the other guy, a couple of the guys to come on in. So uh, I have my guys join in sometimes in interviews. They've seen me interviewed. They've probably been in a few of them themselves. And at some point they were across the table for me in an interview. So let's talk about the do's. Things to do in an interview, what do I look for? Well, number one is on the phone, the initial phone call you're gonna get. And when I tell you, hey, it's Uriah with Guardian Safe and Lock. I saw your resume online, you're interested in setting up an interview. If I hear, right away from the moment I start listening to you, I'm taking in information, right? So, hey, this is Uriah, Guardian Safe and Lock. I'm calling, I saw your interview online. You know, um, I was wondering if we can set up an interview. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, when? Right away, I'm all like, okay, well, this guy's not too excited. So, right away, right? Usually, I give him a little bit of a, of a break. I don't know if he's in the middle of working. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if something bad happened in his life. So, I don't take too much on that, but, I store it, you know? It's like, okay, that's what he sounds like when he's caught off guard normally, and that's how he seems to be as a person. That's honestly what I'm thinking. So, not too excited. If you're not too excited, okay, yeah. All right, yeah, I can go to Monday. Sure, I'll see you there, okay, thanks. Right away, it's kind of like, well, I'm not, I'm not excited now for that interview, so you're not standing out for me, at least. So, right off the bat, do is show that you're interested, show you're excited, show you that you're, you're looking for something and that, uh, and that you actually have some fire to you, you know? Don't sound like a, a dud, because I'm not looking for a dud. So that's right away, right there. Another thing is when you show up, probably uh, do show up 10 minutes at least early, five, 10 minutes early for an interview. Don't show two minutes late, five minutes late. Right away you're showing how reliable you are, because I'm judging you from the moment I talk to you, I'm saying, how's this guy talking? Does he have confidence? Is he not confident? How does he dress? How does he hold himself? How does he... Uh, how will he represent the company? Is he trustworthy? Is he has he put effort in the way he looks? Has he put effort in the way he speaks? Has he asked questions? Is he involved? Is he, you know, is he uh, going back and forth with me? So if I don't have any of that, that's right away I'm my interest level is sinking faster and faster as that goes on. So I'd say come in, come in early. You know, show some excitement at least or some interest when I talk to you on the phone. And number two is come in professionally dressed. So I remember my first job was with Klein Grocery Store. It's just not even a mile from here. It's not even Klein Grocery Store anymore. It's a, a VA clinic now. So 
When I went in for that interview, I was 15 years old, and that was one of the old-fashioned grocery stores here in town. So basically, you would bag the groceries and then take them out for every single customer. No matter what, you're always taking the groceries out for the customer, unless they told you not to. So I was going to get that job, and uh, I remember going to the interview with my dad saying, hey, put in a button-up shirt, tuck your shirt in, put it on a tie, wear some slacks or something. And I was like, I'm only going to bag groceries, right? He's like, I know that. So is everybody else that's going there and you need to set yourself aside. You're different from most people. So wear a tie. Of course I got the job. I've always got the job. Matter of fact, I've never applied for a job and not gotten a job um, to this day. So, but I always came in looking the part, acting the part and excited to be there because I was excited to get a paycheck and move into a new career or have a new job. So come in on time, come in, uh, show some excitement, show that you care, come in dressed professionally. Uh, another thing, man, is eye contact. Like if you, a lot of people, they'll, they'll look down and they'll sort of look away and talk, they're very shaky and, and quiet and reserved and say, ah, I'm gonna have to pull this out of this guy. So, you know, show some confidence, show some eye contact, show that you're, you know, not a wimp. <laughs> the one I've seen both here and other places is going off eye contact, is keeping your eyes off of your phone. Yeah, that too, which is also on here. Yeah. So I have it, uh, well, that's in the dumps. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. But uh, dudes, yeah, eye contact. Show confidence, right? Show if I'm hired. Okay, so I want to. Uh, I'm looking for a guy that can do this. I'm looking for someone that can sell that. That. All right, well, that's not that's not what I'm looking for, <laughs> right? Oh wow, is that all the job? Is it's like all right. Well, now you seem scared. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely not not too excited about hiring this person anymore. Oh, I have to sell things. I business yeah exactly so show confidence show be excited um, show that you can be motivated or you know uh, yes sir no sir you know show respect at least for the situation um, and also ask questions you know that's one of the things I said you got any questions for me hmm really you don't we do like five different trades in one here and I just gave you a really really long roadmap I want to do this I want to expand I want to more stores I want to do that that this that this that and you're just like okay it's like, have some questions for him at least. I mean, show some interest, you know? Okay, what's the schedule like? Do you have me get here this time? Do you have me get that time? Do I leave in this time? Do I do this? Do I, how do I come dressed? How do I ask questions? Be motivated, be interested, at least interested for the, the very minimum, be interested, show interest in the job. So, uh, and do your homework, do your homework. I hate it when I do this. I'm talking to you right now, hey, hey Randall, you, uh, you, you know what we do here, right? No, not really. You sell oranges, right? Right, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> would wear orange but not so <laughs> uh i'll be like well um, so you you want to work here but you don't know what we do we have a damn good website so i mean check our website out I mean, for one there's a hint on the shirt yeah check out check out yeah. the uh check out the um our youtube channel there's something do do your research show that you care you want to work here you'd be amazed a lot of people have they just come in and it's just like all right i'm just trying to get hired it's like, okay well Go get hired somewhere else. But anyway, do your homework, know what we do, look at our website, check our YouTube channel out, do some research, ask some questions. Very simple, be engaging. That's it. Uh, elaborate, this is another thing. So, uh, yeah, how are you the sales? You feel like you can do the sales? I think you'll be all right. Uh, all right, you wanna elaborate? I think you'll be all right. Wow, all right, and, and I've had this happen many times. Those are quick interviews. It's like, all right, um, why do you want to work here? Uh, I think uh, I like it. Oh, okay. So uh, at that point, I'm speeding up. I'm just gonna ask a couple questions, pretend like I'm even. I just I'm gonna pretend like I'm making the best of your time, but I'm not hired. Given he's giving you at that point the courtesy that you're. Like. Exactly, actually, because that's gonna tell you actually, uh, which I'll go to that in the notes. Let's talk about that in the notes. Yeah. So. Uh, sell yourself for instance you are selling yourself you are here the one thing you need to sell me on is hiring you so you are selling me you right so if you're you're not engaging you're not elaborating you didn't come in looking good or all these different things um if you if you do all those good things then it's check 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 and i'm i'm honed in and i'm thinking, oh this guy's great this guy's gonna fit good otherwise i'm thinking well what can i do to turn this interview around maybe it'll show some interest if i do this you know you don't want that. So sell yourself, uh, your strengths and your experiences. They'll ask you, what do you do good? What do you feel you do good? What are your strengths? Oh, I'm, 
I'm good at selling, I'm good at this, I feel I'm good at anything. I feel you give me enough time, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust and I'll figure out a way to get it done. That's money, that's money, right? That's what you wanna hear. I don't want you lying to me, but but I need to hear that you're engaging, that you have some strengths and weaknesses, and that you're even aware of your strengths and weaknesses. You should know when I ask you, what are some of your weaknesses? I don't think I have any. I've had that answer many times. I'm like, really, you don't? Because I could list you 20 of my weaknesses right now. Matter of fact, I could list about five or six of yours just from watching the last 10 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, anyway. You get those so, guys that are like yeah, that. Sell yourself. Yeah, you get those guys that are like that. Oh yeah, well my biggest weakness is that I work too hard. Yeah, that kind of stuff. That's. Yeah, what you want to hear is, uh, biggest weakness is uh, sometimes I don't put enough effort on this. I'm aware of it. I'm working on it. I try to do this and that. So, okay, this guy's self-aware. You know, you want to be self-aware. So I want you to be confident, but not cocky. You know, confident, show you care, show you're interested, do your research on the company, know what we do in the first place, or at least know something about the company you're applying to work at. So we work very hard at the company and we put everything out there, especially with all the social media and marketing, all that. You should be able to tell me names of half the people that work here based off our YouTube channel if you wanted to, yeah. you know, and, and a lot about what we do. We show all that on the internet. So anyway, that's about the dues. Anything you need to add to that, you think? I covered a lot of them. Yeah, that was quite a long room. So I think, I think we're good on the dues. I think, I think the, only, the only thing I can really think of is uh, your I went into uh, discussing being late to an interview and trying to be early and like yeah that happens but sometimes yeah. like for my interview at the time i was over an hour away from the shop i was a late to the interview mm -hmm. but you know what i did is i called 10 minutes before the inter interview started of course through my car phone because you don't drive and talk that's dangerous but uh and just said hey man I'm, i haven't been out to this area in a long time i hit some traffic i'm a little late is that okay and you don't want to just say, hey, I'm going to be late, because uh, you're not the boss in this relationship. Mm -hmm. you're, you're looking to have somebody hired you. So even if you can't follow these things exactly, at least try to be considerate in how you put your future employer potentially uh, become aware of it. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go over the don'ts. All right. So do's and don'ts some interviews. So now we're on the we're on the don'ts, right? We already did what you need to do in the interview. So let's let's tell you what what you don't want to do in that interview. Um, so I guess don't be late for one, right? Don't be late. First thing you don't want me to think rem remember the very first thing I remember about you is you being late to your interview. You definitely don't want that. So uh, don't make excuses either, right? So here's one thing: is there's people they're late. There's always an excuse for being late. There's always a reason, or else you wouldn't have been late. So I already know there's a reason, right? So there's no point in saying, hey man, so, I mean, you, if you're an employee and you're working for someone, that's different. Let's just talk about interviews. So, hey, I was late. I was late 10 minutes. Sorry, I didn't expect the traffic to be that bad. You know, it's different. If you were coming from your job, you're like, hey man, sorry, I had to get off and get here at 5.30. I told you I might be five minutes late because of that. That's a whole different thing, you know? And if you let me know ahead of time, then it's no problem. But if you just show up late, don't even say anything. I've had people walk in five, 10 minutes late. They're saying, yeah, I'm here for the interview. Like, oh, you mean the one that started 10 minutes ago? Sorry, you missed it. You know, so it depends what kind of mood I'm in at that point. Because if you really came in late and you didn't call and I'm already pissed off, at that point, I'm just gonna be like, I've already moved on, sorry. You know, don't waste my time. Consider it. So, don't be desperate either. Don't be desperate. Don't be, I just need a job, man. I just need a job. Well, this isn't a job. I'm looking for someone else to make a career. So you already told me right there you just need a job. So this isn't it. Right away, you just told me you're not a fit for this place because you just need a job. So you just want to pay the bills is what you're saying. Right? That's cool. I don't want to just give money to someone so they can pay bills. I want someone that wants to build, make more money, build themselves up, build this into a career, and you know, turn into that. So don't be desperate. And don't make excuses for being late. If you are late to an interview, you can still recover from that depending on how late you are and, and how your response is when you come in. And did you call me? Did you notify me? Did you text me? Hey man, I'm really sorry. This is this is what happened. I know there's no excuses, but da 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 da. Okay, right? You can get past that. Uh, before you even get to the interview, let's talk about this. When you're even applying for a job, like when I get Indeed, when I go on Indeed, I use Indeed to find most most of my people. So when I go on Indeed, not sponsored. Yeah, okay, not sponsored. Yeah, I'll go in there and I'll be like, oh cool, here's a resume. That's misspelled, but there's no punctuation there. That's this, that, what the? Next, 
right away. I don't even care. I don't care if you are the perfect experience on everything, but your laziness on your resume, I've, there's probably three or 400 interviews. I mean, resumes I've looked at and just went, not a bar, next, immediately. Right away, the only thing I see is, I don't know who you are, all I see is piece of paper. This is what the guy said, this is the best I've got. Here you go, and this is me. Second grade English. Yeah, I'm a, uh, okay, well, that's all messed up. Not interested. So, don't misspell stuff on your resume. Highlight it all and spell check it. It's not that hard. If I don't know how to spell a word, you know what I do? I go to Google and I type it in, I hit enter and I go, oh, there's the correct way. Copy, paste, put it right into your resume. Not that hard. So don't misspell things. Don't uh, don't half-ass your, your resume, basically. And don't come in, don't come in with lazy effort. So don't be, I don't like this, where someone comes in, hey, what's up, man? All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. I'm like, are we hanging out or are we my buddy or are we interviewing here? What are we doing? So, don't do that. That's an insult, first of all. It shows me how how seriously you're taking things. You're slouching out. I'm like, oh, this guy is not taking anything seriously. Matter of fact, this guy's kind of a, so I say douche. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, we'll put a bleep over that. No, we'll leave it. Oh yeah, we won't. Oh, okay. All right. No. Um. So. Anyway, this is supposed to be behind the scenes, so... Yeah, I mean, um, that's fair. It shows me how, how seriously you're taking it. If you're like, you come in, you're slouching, you're talking to me like I'm your bro, and it's like, to an extent, it's good, kind of, if you're being friendly and stuff like that, but you're not overboard on it. But don't come in like that, don't come in slouching, don't come in, ah, you know, ah, and acting all street and throwing your street talking with your buddies and stuff, don't do that. Yeah, don't so why are you here? I'm finna get a job. I don't know you finna not. <laughs> exactly. Uh, lazy effort, operation, let's see. Oh, another thing, big thing. Mm -hmm. The objective on top. You know people put the objective on top of the resume? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I swear this happens all the time. Objective. To find a job in the healthcare profession. That did it. So you didn't even bother to change this even in lie to me and pretend like you're just looking for a job somewhere else besides your healthcare. You literally just said, I'm looking to be in healthcare even though I'm applying for your job, which means I'll take your job. As soon as I get a better job in healthcare, I'm bouncing, I'm taking that job. And on top right? of that, it shows you don't even have the effort to take two seconds to take healthcare industry out of that. Right, and reword a couple words. It's like, dude, that, people pick up on that stuff. I have hundreds of, hundreds of them. Even they, like I even put assessments on these things on there, indeed, and that's another pet peeve. If someone puts an assessment on there and says, hey, take these tests when you submit your resume. If you don't do those assessments, I'm not even going to entertain you. I might send you a message and say, hey, man, did you do those assessments so I can set up an interview? And then after that, I've already told you once. And if you don't do it after that, I don't care if you're the best, most experienced person ever. I'm not hiring you. I'm not going to even call you. So put effort in and um, update your objective so it matches the position that you're applying for. Um, don't... Don't ask about money either. Like, don't make that a priority. Like, well, who's just paying? It's like, okay, so right away, right, we're talking about money. I want to know first before we even talk about money. I didn't even know if I even want to hire you. So let's talk about what's going on. Let's talk about who you are, all the questions I have. Let's see how that goes. At the very end, first of all, on the, when you're filling out a resume too and things like that, you're putting your information. It usually says how much you're making at previous jobs, and then what are you looking to make? It has a spot in there, and you usually put that in. I know what you're looking to make. So if you put that in there, you really don't even need to talk about it. You could talk about it, you gotta find the right time, that one's a little eh. But uh, if it has a spot on the resume where you're putting in what you wanna make, that says enough right there. So I wouldn't even bother with it after that. Yeah, because I mean, for example, you, you, like you say, you're, like you're saying, you already have these people talking about what they mm -hmm. So why are they asking, like, like, are they afraid it's gonna be too low? Because you already told them what you expect from your side. From, from the hiree side, right. what they want from mm -hmm. So are they worried you're gonna offer less than that or do they think that they can get more? Like your entire- You're not gonna skip ahead. Yeah, you're not gonna skip yeah. ahead There's basically. There's no cheat like, code for a higher paycheck than- Or hold on a second, that. real quick, before we go on, what's the pay like? It's like, wow. all right, well, yeah, we'll probably, get to that, dude. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So anyway, um, but yeah, and, and I already mentioned this, but don't, don't talk to me like I'm your buddy. It's an insult to the company. It's an in insult to the interviewer. It means you're not taking things seriously. 
um, treat people with respect, be professional, and you, be in your best behavior, man. You're trying to sell yourself and sell yourself. So do what you can to sell yourself. Don't come in sloppy. Don't come in poorly dressed, man. People come in with blue jeans and sneakers or shorts and sneakers. and freak, I mean, it just depends. Like, you can... I won't say all blue jeans are out. I personally would not wear a pair of blue jeans to an interview. That's me. Um, it wouldn't stop me from hiring someone, probably. But it is you, Texas. Yeah, if you come in, if you come in with your skateboard shorts and your Vans on and your shirt that says Ramones and or the Doors or something like that, and you're in here and you got your hair all long and grungy and stuff, I'm like cool, we'll be in a rock band. I'm hired here. You know, we're in security. We're the professionals. You're going to people's houses. You're securing their business and their homes and stuff. I'm not looking for a little punk skateboard. You know, I'm looking for a professional. You can be a punk skateboarder at home. You know? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like even if, even if you're the most qualified person on the planet, not that all skateboarders are punks. I if that's how you walk around. Nobody's ever gonna know because everybody's mm -hmm. gonna treat you like a skateboarder. And don't, <laughs> yeah, and don't cuss or speak uh, cat too casually or things like that. And you know, this, that's not the place for it. So, and don't respond to your phone. Put your phone on mute. Put it away. Don't look at it, and leave it at that. So, I would say those are my do's and don'ts. But, I mean, people that are applying for jobs at the very get-go, when you're saying, this is my resume, you're saying, this is my best, this is my best interpretation of me and what I have to offer to your company. That's what I'm doing, right? That's what you're saying. So, if it's all, I want to be in the healthcare industry, okay? Oh, misspelling, misspelling there. Oh, left that out. Uh, you're 40 years old. You only have two jobs in the last three years. And one of them is magician. Yeah, did you not, or did you not list any of them? I mean, put all your work history on there. Don't make me think that you're hiding things, right? Um, so anyway, I'd say that pretty much covers the do's and don'ts there, man. It's just, there's a lot of things. That, what sucks about it, man, is these days, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not these days. Maybe it's always been that way. But it seems like some of the kids these days that just come out and they're just expecting you to hand them a job and they're going to be making tons of money and everything's good. You know, but uh, maybe they're entitled. I don't know. But that's not the problem. So, anyway. Well, we uh, appreciate you tuning in. We're going to keep doing some more things on this channel. There'll be some that are more more entertain entertainment side of things and more uh, discussion side of things like this. It just depends on what the videos are going to be. So, uh, we uh, will brand new to this. So, if you would please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, hit the like button and uh, leave a comment if you have some ideas for what we want to do. We talk about business discussion, business topics, um, projects that you won't see in the Guardian Safe Block channel, behind the scenes things you won't see on that channel. We're going to try to put out some good content for you and try to keep you interested. But uh, we might even end up making some social media pages for this site separately. Probably. Probably something along those lines. And we'll, note it, we'll say it on this channel let you know about it. So uh, anyway. Something else to be aware of too. If, uh, if you're coming to this channel in the far future, or somehow we will probably have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, uh, take a look at Guardian Safe and Lock, the channel that started it all. It's what we do during the day. Right now is after hours. Let's see what we do on hours. Um, links in the description, maybe up in the corner, wherever YouTube puts things. So. And thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time.